And most of us that make videos here on YouTube receive email. I'd probably say all of us that receive emails um, and on a pretty steady basis. And a lot of them are uh, people who decide to uh, respond or comment to a video in our inbox rather than on the page. For some reason, I think they're just kind of stupid or something. But most of the time, we're just going to ignore we ignore these people uh, because you know we just can't possibly answer every email. But then there's some that you just can't ignore, and especially especially when somebody is so delusional that it, it makes you kind of laugh because you know we we'll always run out and say you know such such person is delusional um, you know for what they say but you know you still leaves you kind of wondering do they really even mean what they say well I got one and uh, th this one the guy really believe I, I believe he believes what he says and, which makes him all the more delusional so let's check out this email Okay, this one is from Palmoni44. He's um, a none too bright guy that uh, decided he needed to send me something here because he doesn't really know how comment sections work. He writes, weird, I can't seem to reply to you on your Another Teen Stooge video post. Don't tell you're afraid of what your subscribers would think when I point out your logic fail. Um, not quite a properly developed sentence, but we'll try to get through this. This guy might be a little just lower in the IQ levels. Um, well, first off, let's just address this part of it. Uh, if Palmoni44, if you can send me an, an email, then you can comment. That means you're not blocked, you moron. Uh, and everybody else seems to be able to um, send emails to those another Teen Stooge videos. They, I mean, they, they all comment on it. The comments are open. So obviously you're not blocked, you're just stupid. Well, anyways, he goes off and he quotes me in a comment I made to somebody, or maybe it was even a reply to him. I don't know, it's not worth my time looking. Um, but first off, she's a moron. Secondly, you cannot be bigoted against a view. She's a bigot against people. We oppose her bigotry, you lose. See, I wrote that in response to somebody who said that, um, well, uh, you'll see what they say, because Palmoni then repeats it here. He writes, she's a person too. You judge her as stupid only because of her views. Um, Palmoni, what would you like me to judge her stupid on? Her looks? Wouldn't that be the, the, the bad way to do it? Wouldn't judging her on her looks be bad? No, you judge somebody on their views. You judge somebody on what they say what they think. I mean, that's how we judge people. She comes on here and makes videos against gay marriage uh, and, and, you know, puts down a whole group of people. Of course I'm going to judge her on that. I'm not going to judge her as stupid from her looks, so you fail there. And then you write that this makes me every bit as intolerant and bigoted as she. Really? Because I judge somebody on their view, where she judged somebody on their sexual orientation. So I'm every bit as intolerant and bigoted? Hmm. Then you go on, you are more so because she simply stated an opinion, but you've judged her as stupid because of her opinion. Well, once again, yes, I've judged her as stupid because of her opinion, because her opinion is stupid. Uh, but how does that make me more bigoted and intolerant? She didn't simply state an opinion. I mean, she wants to discriminate against an entire group of people that represent possibly up to 10% of our population, depending on what studies you listen to. And number two, you say, um, I don't want her to express her opinion. I, I never said that. She can come on and express it, and then I can return my opinion of her opinion, which is what I did. I never flagged her. I never tried to get her shut down. She, she actually put her tail between her last cheeks and ran on her own. So, let's see. She may indeed be a moron, but she's smarter than all of her critics, including you, put together. Really? <laughs> okay. Now, this is the one where I started really laughing at your email because I think you'll probably be alone on that opinion. She's smarter than all her critics put together. 
please point that out to us. Please go into her video and point out where she is smart. Please. And I'll, you know, I'll link that response from you right into here. Just make a video that set, shows me where she's smarter than everybody. Because uh, she's not. She doesn't need to prove it. Well, yes, she does. If, if, if she thinks she's smart, she does need to prove that. Because so far, all she's done is prove she's an idiot. Uh, you do that for her with every insult. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't win. You don't win. She wins. God, I don't see how she wins. Let's see. Your debate isn't against me. No, it never was until you wrote stupid shit like this. I am just an impartial judge of your rebuttal. I don't think you're impartial. What, frankly, what I think you are is nobody that's thinking with the right mind would look at her video and consider her not a bigot, not intolerant, and smarter than all her critics put together, unless they had a further agenda. That agenda would make them not impartial. And my agenda, your agenda, I believe, my, my opinion of your agenda is you think that if, and many of the children that come on YouTube think this way, you think that if you side with her, you're going to become her little e-friend and you might have a chance on getting her to flash her little titties at you or maybe even fuck her, right? That's what you're hoping for by doing this because it's about the only logical thing I can think of. Otherwise, you're just crazy because there's absolutely no reason to think that she's smart. Uh, so let's see, here's the answer, however. She's not a bigot or intolerant. She just disagrees with you and has every right to do so. Um, actually, no, she was not ever responding to any video of mine, so she doesn't disagree with me. I disagree with her. She is, in fact, a bigot and intolerant because she has taken task with an entire group of people and decided that they should not get married. They should not have the equal rights and equal protection of the law because of nothing more than their sexual orientation. Uh, she doesn't know these people. She hasn't interacted with them. And she does all this based on her religion. She is a bigot and she's intolerant. And yes, you are right here. She has the right to articulate her views. And we all have a right to tell her her views are fucked up, antisocial, outdated, immoral, and just plain fucking stupid. Is it intolerant to be intolerant of intolerance? Logical fail. Whatever. You're not even making sense here. No. Let me answer you to this. You can't honestly call somebody intolerant if they don't tolerate people who are unjustly intolerant. See, our intolerance of her opinion is justified because her opinion oppresses people. It discriminates against people. It brings people down. Entire classes of people can be harmed by her type of intolerance. So I, we're justified in being intolerant to her, so fuck you. Now, I want to post this rebuttal on your video post. Why can't I? Again, because you're a fucking moron. This lowbrow, Palmoni44, actually thought that his email to me was something good. He's followed up a couple more times saying that he, uh, that email pones me, that it was filled with logic and, you know, that it, it was, uh, you couldn't refute his, his words. I would hope that my viewers, my subscribers are smart enough to recognize a complete moron when they see one. And this Palmoni44 with his, with his email there proved that he's not a critical thinker. And again, I think he's probably just some little kid who's hoping that his backing up of Two Rocker For You might get him some pussy. If that's not the case, then we're dealing with a true retard.